Hello friends welcome to my channel Dr. Online 24-7, today I'm going to tell you about urinary tract infections. What urinary tract infections are? They are most commonly bacterial infections of the urinary tract. And they are known as UTI. And most commonly because we can see some fungal infections causing urinary tract infections as well but for the most part they're going to be bacterial in nature. What is most commonly going to be affected in a simple urinary tract infection is an infection of the bladder. And we note this as cystitis, now there can be other parts of the urinary tract or urinary system that can be affected including the ureters, and urinary tract infections can get so bad that they can ascend up the ureters and even infect the kidneys, causing pyelonephritis. Before we get into the signs and symptoms of a urinary tract infection, it's important to note that some organisms may colonize people's urinary tracts but cause no symptoms. If they were to do a screen they may actually see bacteria in their urine. But if they're not having any symptoms we call this asymptomatic bacteriuria. If it gets very severe it can lead to an infection of the kidney, which we call pyelonephritis. Now the epidemiology of urinary tract infections is as follows. Females outnumber males and this is because females have a shorter urethra than males. So bacteria how they get into the bladder and other parts of the urinary tract is that they climb the urethra. So because women have a shorter urethra they don't have as much distance to travel to get to the bladder. So with regards to how many females outnumber males it is a 4 to 1 ratio. And urinary tract infections are so common that it is estimated that 40 to 60 of women will develop a UTI at some point in their lives. In women who do develop urinary tract infections they occur most often in women aged 16 to 35 years of age. Signs and Symptoms of UTI one of them is something we call dysuria so dysuria. Dysuria is a sensation of pain described as a burning sensation while urinating. So as an individual is urinating they have a burning sensation we call this dysuria. And this is because there is irritation of the bladder and lower segments of the urinary tract caused by infective organisms. Another one is urgency so urinary urgency. This is the sensation of feeling like needing to urinate more quickly so, you feel like you have to very quickly get to the bathroom and urinate, and again this is due to bladder irritation as well. Other Symptoms Some other symptoms of the UTI include urinary frequency so increased frequency of urination. So urinating more frequently than normal is a symptom of UTI, and this increased frequency of urination is due to irritation of the bladder, as well so that irritation makes the patient feel like they have to go to the washer more often. And they often feel like they need to urinate even when the bladder is empty. So they'll go back to the washroom and try to urinate even when they don't have to. These are the three major cardinal symptoms of a UTI. Now some other symptoms and signs of UTI include the following. Foul-smelling urine. So urine may smell more foul than usual and this can be due to pyuria, or pus in the urine. So white blood cells and bacteria so just the presence of bacteria in the urine can change the smell of the urine making it more foul pain. In nature another symptom of UTI that may occur is suprapubic pain. So suprapubic pain, pain in the pelvic area or pain in the suprapubic area. This is due to irritation of the bladder again. We call the cystitis another sign of UTI. 
is what we call hematuria. Hematuria is blood in the urine you can imagine that if there are bacteria in the bladder and the urinary tract. They can cause irritation and some trauma of the urinary tract even at a microscopic level, causing some bleeding to occur and this hematuria is most often. Microscopic hematuria, which means we don't see it with the naked eye. Some other symptoms of UTI include Urinary hesitation, so urinary hesitation is a difficulty initiating urination and or maintaining a urine stream, so difficulty starting and difficulty maintaining urine stream. We can also see something called post-void dribbling is where there's some residual urine after voiding so after voiding has completed there can be some residual urine. Next signs and symptoms we're going to talk about are caused by pile of nephritis. Pylonephritis is a complication of a UTI, where that UTI has ascended up to lead to an infection of the kidneys. So those bacteria that have caused a UTI can travel up the ureters and infect the kidneys causing pylonephritis. So in a pile nephritis, we can see those symptoms we talked about before dysuria urgency frequency, but we can see these other symptoms. Some of these include flank pain, so flank pain is where there is pain at the lower side of the back, at the bottom of the rib cage, and that is where your kidneys are located. If you were to pound on that area the patient jumps due to pain from that area and that is what we call costovertebral angle or CVA tenderness. So that is a very critical clinical sign of a pyelonephritis. And then because the kidney is infected there can be fever and chills. So this occurs with flank pain and is actually one of the most common signs and symptoms of pyelonephritis, so along with flying pain, there can be fever and chills. Some other signs and symptoms of pyelonephritis include Nausea and vomiting so because the patient is very ill their kidney is infected they can have nausea and vomiting this is a relatively common symptom of pyelonephritis. Homeopathic Remedies for UTI Some common homeopathic medicines for UTI are Cantharis Nux Vomica Sarsaparilla Apis Malefica Staphysagria Other homeopathic medicines for urinary infection, like Arsenicum Album, Pulsatilla, Equisetum, Sepia, Mercurius, Aconite and Chymaphila are known to provide relief UTI too. This is all about UTI. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching, Doctor Online 24/7 by Doctor Sana Bawani. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel.